Hey guys, you know how I am with new gear. If it's not something that I think is a huge technology shift, I'm very much unwilling to swap out my old kind of tried and true gear. But today I'm gonna go over a system from Wiser Precision, which intertwines your trekking poles, your shooting stick slash rest setup, your tripod for glassing, all of that into one. I think it's pretty damn cool, man. I mean, if this stuff works, I might be swapping out my systems. And this is my first look at it. I'm gonna show you the setup right now on the glassing front. And then later this afternoon, I'm gonna shoot with the quick clip part of the system. So as you know, I'm a huge fan of the Wiser Precision Quick Sticks adapter this piece right here and listen to that guys if you remember my previous uh, rest video you guys can check it out i talk about this uh, device basically turns your trekking poles into a shooting rest right so you got a multi-purpose deal there you're carrying your trekking poles already why not use them for a set of solid shooting sticks in that video i did, went like this and you can hear these squeak it's not actually something i even noticed uh but shane from wiser he uh he noticed it and he actually sent me a little a little bitty grease to put in there and that makes them so they you can't make a, a, a peep um, i think also honestly it's probably just a little bit of user error just not keeping them clean these are probably five or six years old but today i was given the chance to complete the system right and try some of the other products that uh, wiser has and really what we're talking about guys is we're talking about a trekking pole shooting rest glassing tripod system um, all in one i'm a huge fan of anything that's going to save me weight going to keep things simple and also reduces bulk a lot of you know backpack hunters or guides or whatever guys that are trouncing around the mountains with gear they always talk about weight but what they don't talk about is bulk i personally really dislike bulk in my pack it makes everything more difficult right so even if something is fairly light if it's bulky it drives me freaking crazy right you know when i'm trying to pack uh you know meat out with camp and everything else you end up look, feeling like a hobo trying to get all the shit in there you have to keep readjusting the weight on your back everything tidy and less bulk i can get a lot i can pack my pack perfectly where the weight's gonna sit right where i want it on my hip hips where i can transfer it to my shoulders back to my hips shoulders back to my hips i'll do a video in the future on how i do that but it's really important that I don't have a ton of bulk. And that's been one of my frustrations with my tripod glassing system. I've been very happy with what I have. I've used the kind of standard high-end tripods. I've, you know, right now, for the last couple of years, I've been using a slick, a slick uh, tripod. And then I use an outdoorsman panhead awesome equipment what i've put that stuff through it's amazing how well it's held up super solid so the this wiser precision is getting bumped up against some pretty some pretty steep competition but they're also different you're going to see i'll show you here show you here in a moment that the bulk between this system and that system is like a third or less right so you save a bunch on weight um, but you also save a bunch on bulk so i'm a huge fan of that the next part of this system is you have this part which is the quick clip uh, it's funny because the cheap ass that i am i hit up uh, shane at wiser and i said hey man can you send me one of these to try and then i got to thinking to myself you know what why am i being such a cheap ass about it i've loved his adapter i'm just gonna buy it so i ordered uh, this product from shane full price uh, no big deal and then he actually responded to my message and said hey dude i'm gonna refund it and send this to you so in terms of like knowing where my bias is i did pay for this but then i didn't pay for it because he refunded funded me the money so anyways just for transparency's sake these products everybody always bitches and whines like you know even outdoorsmen tripod heads um, all these these little machined technical pieces of equipment everybody says well why is that tripod head three hundred dollars where i can buy one of these mainstream camera tripod heads for 50 or 30 or whatever and the answer is there's i'm sure there's quality difference i'm sure there's there's spec differences and durability differences but a lot of it has to do with the it was just scale guys you're you're trying to compare manufacturers who are making thousands and thousands of the items whereas these guys are probably you know i don't know how many they sell but they're they may sell hundreds and that may be a good year i don't i don't know but that'd be my expectation right so that's why these are more expensive guys you're gonna have to pay for this stuff but it's very durable it's well done um and uh the quick clip i i think it's i think it'll probably last forever right if it if it functions correct you know i'm sure i'll probably use this one forever it, how it goes on your gun right here it'll just go on your pick forearm uh, i already have one of those on my guns i've always used that in the past for my hatch bipods and other bipods how it works is you take your shooting sticks here 
And if you see here, there's a groove in that quick sticks adapter. And it's kind of it's kind of fat on one side, thin on the other side. So I have figured out you have to there is there is a one way to do it. It's not interchangeable back and forth unless I'm doing things wrong. Take the quick clip like this, and then you're gonna go and you're gonna go ahead and just pop that on, right? Like that, right? And I'll show you later this afternoon at the end of the video here, I'll show you shooting off of this. Uh, I'll, I'm actually gonna keep this on the rifle and then I can just, uh, you know, just like a bipod, lay that down and then pop this on. And then I have a solid rest, right? I've been doing this in the past for years, but just using the base. One thing about it is it's pretty darn, takes a pretty good pull to get it off, but I've been using uh, just this angle right here to shoot off of and it's been fine, but I can immediately see that this setup's probably gonna be quite a bit sturdier, right? This is gonna be a much sturdier setup. So the other thing you could do with this system to kind of add to it is you can uh, put this on here, right? Like you're gonna use it on your rifle. We'll cover later. And you can get what they call the third leg, right? This third leg. Um, it looks like to me, it's just like your normal trekking pole, just kind of cut off. Sorry, that rock poked me in the ass, but it's got a screw here on the top at an angle where you can put in a pan head, right? I have the, Shane was nice enough to send me out one of their, their new ultralight pan heads that I'm going to show you right now. Um, but you can see that's what's on there, right? But any pan head would screw on there. It's pretty standardized. Unique bracket on it there. Um, you'll see that. it's two angled pick rails uh, one is for what they're calling storage mode and I'll show you that in a minute the other straight angled pick rail is for actually using this uh, as a tripod setup so all right so I have my uh, quick stick is that adapter with the quick clip and then I can take this pick rail on that third leg and it's pretty intuitive snug it up with your tensioner there and you're off to the races, right? So now you've got a tripod. The one thing I have, I had to do uh, on mine, and it may have just been how my specific trekking poles were working uh, with the quick sticks or, or whatever, is I actually had to uh, move the this pick rail setup. I had to move it up and down the third leg a little bit just to get it where this tripod head, when I put, uh, you know, 15s or spotter on it, that they don't run into the heads of my trekking poles, right? So I had to, I had to do a little adjustment there. This right here is my slick tripod with my outdoorsman pan head. Give you a look at that. That's the setup that I use generally for glassing. So how are we gonna pair, compare apples to apples? Well, if I'm just using this setup, you know, my traditional setup, I've gotta have my trekking poles with me separate. Apples to apples comparison, you're looking at this first this. I'm going to jump away here and just show you the weights of these two uh, so you can see the comparison there but you can see the bulk here. It's quite a bit guys. So now to weigh the systems okay. So I've got a scale here. I had to put a book on it just so I had a better platform. I've got it zeroed out. So let's think about the traditional system. All right so the outdoorsman pan head slick tripod. This is what I traditionally use on a backpack hunt. All right. So that by itself is 2.98 ounces, 2.10 ounces basically, all right? But if I take this, I'm going to have to take my trekking poles separately, all right? So I add those on there. And now we're looking at 3 pounds, 14 ounces for my traditional setup, okay? So that the, that's the outdoorsman, pan head, the slick tripod, and my trekking pole. If we go with the Wiser System solution, I've still got to have my trekking poles, okay? And then I've got to have my quick clip here and my third leg, all right? Two pounds, five ounces versus three pounds, 14 ounces. So you're basically looking at pound and a half difference, okay? But guys, we can also, we can also use the storage uh, pick rail part of this little adapter here to uh, store the uh, third leg, the quick clip, and the adapter together with my trekking poles. So now you're comparing, you're comparing this bulk right here to this tripod plus the trekking poles, all right? So with the uh, traditional system, you have about double the bulk than you do with the wiser precision setup. So I think that's uh, apples to apples, guys. You're, you're looking at basically a pound and a half of difference on my traditional system versus the wiser system plus 
I've got about half the bulk with the Wiser system versus my traditional system. Maybe slightly less than half the bulk, but it's way, it's way handier to pack. Basically, I can pack this on one side of my pack, no problem. Whereas it's a little bit difficult when you have trekking pole and your uh, spotter and traditional pan head. All right, guys, so that gives you a little overview of the specs. So I'm a huge first impressions guy. Just the simplicity of it, all the multi-purpose has been really, really, really well thought through. One of the cons is that it, it, it takes a little setup. You know, I've been using this a lot, so it's a little bit of an unfair comparison, but there's not much setup here. Just pop the legs out, pull it up, you're ready to glass. On this, um, there is gonna be a little setup. If your clip is on your third leg, then it's not on your rifle, so if you're gonna shoot, you have to do a little setup there. If your your third leg's gonna be off, uh, off of your uh, your trekking poles, then you have to pop it on here. You know, there's little things you have to tune I noticed which is no problem that's kind of what you expect with something that's engineered this way one of my other first impressions is it's a lot more solid than I would think is it as solid this is this tripod no but there's not that much difference actually right side by side just go like this you know like okay there is a little more movement in this so this setup is slightly is slightly more solid but it's very oh, it's it's close to unnoticeable, but it is noticeable if that makes sense, right? So there is, it is a little more solid, this setup, um, but it's a three times the bulk and a good double the weight or whatever. So, so that's to be expected, but there's not as much differential as, as I kind of assumed there was gonna be and expected, right? You have to have you know decent expectations about things. All right, so for glassing, guys, I'm gonna get this set up. One thing I noticed right off the bat, and, and Shane at Wiser actually warned me about this, is that you have to bury this front, this third leg kind of in the ground. You have to get that solid because I assume, I'm assuming it's because there's lateral movement here, right? So along the original quick stick, quick, quick sticks adapter here, there's movement here, right? I don't know if it's lateral, but you get what I'm saying. There's movement there. And the other thing about it is, if you don't get it buried, or if you get it buried kind of in the wrong position, there's a little cant, right? So you can see there's some cant right here. The pan head is not straight up and down. It, you could technically glass off of it, but it's for sure gonna be annoying because it's a pan head. So, so your grid is gonna be not quite at a uh, flat horizontal it's going to be like this and that's going to be very dependent on you getting that that front leg in there in there solid and kind of straight right so i think that's a little deal that is just again that's kind of more part of part of the setup these are just my range finding binoculars they're actually about the same weight as uh, my 15s this is a good test for both my chest binocular putting on the tripod or my 15s. I'm gonna lock the pan head in. This handle tightens up the, the up and down, the vertical. This little handle here loosens up your horizontal. You know, one thing I'm noticing is that it's a, gonna be a, a little less intuitive for me to get to the right height, right? So, uh, but it's, it's very doable. It's just, I've gotta pull that out and kind of raise it up a little bit. It's, re it's really solid, guys. The, it's really solid. I like to glass like this, so I'm going to try to test it from that position. See, the problem is I don't have enough opening in the, in the tripod down here to set it on there. So I'm going to have to have to change my style a little bit. Uh, ah, here we go. That's, the, that's funny there. And that's what I'm, you know, I'm giving you guys. The, this is like a lot of my first work on it, too. So... This is super solid here. That's how I'm gonna use this thing right here. And they do, they do give you a little smaller handle that you can put on here, a little bitty one. Um, so if you're worried about this weight of the handle or the bulk or whatever, you could do that too. And the pan head, guys, it's awesome. I, in my mind, the pan head, it's very simple, less bulky. I felt like I had the same control as my outdoorsman pan head. We'll see on durability, like my outdoorsman pan head that I have, I've had that one for seven or eight years, never failed me. It's never gotten even gritty. You know, it's never been anything but precision. So I can't compare this wiser ultralight pan head to that pan head in that regard because I haven't put this one through the years and the dirt and the abuse, right? So I don't know how this is going to ha uh, handle all that. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. Um, but I can't do that comparison right now. The functionality test of it off the bat is awesome. No complaints. You know, from I think the movement that I feel, the little extra movement I feel, 
is from the base system. It's not from the pan head. Arca attachment uh, is what it is. I mean, I, I would love if, if it fit all my stuff uh, already, but that is what it is. So you got an adjustment there. If you move to using like a big spotter on something like this that's ultra light, you're probably pushing what it was engineered for. So this is an 85 millimeter Swarovski. And so immediately it's gonna be a challenge for me to get the thing low enough, right? This is gonna have to move all down. So I'm gonna have to adjust this to use it with the spotter, but I think it's doable. Let's see if I can do it on camera for you guys. Okay, so I've lowered everything quite a bit down. I use an angled spotter and uh, yeah, very doable. So I have a similar feeling on the uh, um, spotter. Uh, I expected some movement for sure out of such an ultralight system, but the differential versus my other much heavier setup is a lot less than I thought. You could, you could do it, if, if you're careful with the spotter, uh, you're not you know, setting it down this way and walking off in the wind or something, I, I don't see why anybody couldn't use, use it with a spotter. All right, so let's jump into shooting with the quick clip part of this system. This is why this review took so long. My first impressions of shooting with the quick clip, I really didn't like it. I actually prefer just having no clip and using the adapter like I had been for years. Just putting the gun in the crotch between the two trekking poles that was created by that adapter, I actually found that better than using the quick clip. Obviously, that's not the point of the system, so I wasn't going to recommend the entire system because that aspect in my mind was failing. Now at the same time I didn't want to crap on the system without working out the bugs or at least you know putting out an effort to try to work out the bugs. So over a couple months I mean I've got a lot going on I had hunts I had a lot of other videos I wanted to tape but over a couple month period I was able to shoot with the system more and kind of work out those bugs. So first the main problems I had one was shooting prone. I found it difficult with the clip because now I had the Picatinny rail plus the clip I had that kind of elevated above the crotch of the trekking poles and the other thing is I had moved the quick sticks adapter to accommodate the pan head where I could glass off of that system with the third leg so that kind of elevated everything so it became difficult for me to shoot off the system prone where I could shoot off the system prone just if I was shooting over the adapter with no quick clip so that was the first problem that I saw with the system the second problem I had was was when I had the quick clip attached to the rifle, this is the system you see on a lot of Picatinny rail attachments. You're gonna have a tensioner knob and you're gonna have a lever, right, that does the last little bit of tensioning when you put the uh, accessory on there. The problem with all that bulk in the V of the trekking poles is it was just too tight. One, it was hard for me to cant the rifle at all if I needed to, if I was on uneven ground or just didn't wanna have to, you know, get off my gun and then adjust the ends of the trekking poles, you know, to adjust for that. So it was just really tight in there. The other thing is it was just difficult to get the gun on and off because I had to get to that lever, pull it off. I had to move the gun a certain way. There was just too many steps in the process to get it done. And it was just annoying. Taking this to the positive side of things, I shot a lot with this system and I slowly got all of these worked out. Here I'm going to show you how I worked through each one of those problems. It's not really the fault of Wiser or their engineering or the product at all. It's just just, I think a function of this kind of thing, right? Where a lot of the purpose is to be low bulk, low weight, you give up just a lot of the really, you know, obvious usability of it. So you have to tweak it and get it set up right. And that took me a lot of time. What I show you here should get you through that process where you're not frustrated by it. All right, guys, so I'm going to take the opportunity to reiterate a theme that I always talk about with gear. And that's that if you're going to try new gear, you really got to get it dialed right. What you're going to see in segments of this video or you've already seen in segments of this video is that at points I got frustrated with the wiser setup, right? Well, what I realized is that it was really user error. And I'm going to show you guys something that I didn't notice, okay? So my trekking poles, they're set a certain way where this way they're, they've got this size angle, right? And then this way, they have a more, a wider angle, right? A more, I think a more obtuse angle, right? But anyway, to shoot just in the crotch of the sticks has been perfect for years, right? But when you get the, the quick clip in there, you'll see that everything's tight here, Like right? This lever's gonna hit the pole here. You know, as I adjust things, as I adjust the cant, I'm right up against 
my poles, right? And then when I get the third leg on there, the same problem. There's, there's compaction right here. It's doable. It all works, but I have to deal with it and have to kind of get the system dialed really well. The other thing is, even if I flip it over, it's just too high for me to shoot prone off of, right? Well, there's a trick here, guys, that, and this is not Wiser or Shane or anything like that. I'm sure it's somewhere in the directions, and I'm just an idiot and didn't read them. Pull the clip off. Now, here's the secret end for me. See, there's an adjustment to make that angle wider. Okay, so I'm gonna do that on camera here. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so let's see how that did. One angle, obviously wider. And I don't know if that's the, the wider one or not. Yeah, so that, that angle's still tight, but this angle's much wider, right? Okay, so let's try that. Okay, so now, is that if I tilt the, you know, if I rotate on that axis, I have access to my lever, no problem right there. Okay, so that solved that issue that I had. And again, guys, this is not a critique on the device. This is a critique on me, but it iterates one of the themes that I always hit on. You can't just buy shit and then go out hunting with it. You gotta work this stuff out beforehand. And that's part of the reason why I'm real finicky about changing out gears, because I gotta go through that process to perfect it, right? But this is this stuff's pretty slick, so it's all right. But anyway, so that, that solves that issue there. The utility of the clip and the adapter works way better, okay? This is how you gotta run it with a, with a wider angle, a more obtuse angle. I can get to the levers, I can get to the adjustments, all of that, perfect. In terms of shooting prone, it's still a little high for me. So much better, but what I can see, you know, now that I got that angle right, is I, I can actually take the, uh, the original quick sticks adapter and move it down my pole a little bit. See, I'm not limited, I've got some pole left here, so I can come down to, you know, probably right here, and that's gonna put me perfect where I can shoot prone off of it, right? It's gonna take me down right in here, and then I'll be ideal. I'll do that right at the end, guys, but I might be getting stormed on here, so I wanna show you. See, this is, this is awesome because it makes it also much easier for me to just take that, take that clip off, leave it on the sticks, get rid of my gun, come in here, in here just the can of that third leg oh yeah solid so now we're back to our spotting setup this is slick all this like all the little problems i was having it, it's perfected by just getting that angle right so that's awesome now now that i've adjusted that angle a little bit it looks like these no nah, they're they're still good so no problem there we're still solid you know once i adjust the original uh, quick six adapter down the poles a little bit um, I, I'm gonna have to come back and adjust this a little bit because now these are gonna be up a little bit. So you just gotta tweak that system and get it right. All right guys, so let's go ahead and do that adjustment to get that prone right. I wanna see if I can shoot off this thing prone or not. I don't wanna be bullshitting you guys. One, one thing I will tell you, and it, I know I, it's, just a, it's just a function of it, is that thing is tight, so don't whack yourself in the face. I've, I, I gotta get more cognizant of that if I'm gonna use this setup. I'm gonna move them simultaneously so I keep them straight. And of course, guys, you wouldn't have to do this in the field. You just gotta get it dialed in uh, one time so your system's good. All right, guys, let me get on this and see how we're doing prone now. <clears throat> yep, yeah, so now we're at the right level, guys. That's all it took. This problem is solved. Right, easily I could shoot prone off this uh, this setup, and I'd feel real comfortable. So that's that's great. So in terms of its capability in an ultralight and low bulk uh, category, it's a great tripod. It's a great uh, set of shooting sticks, right? Or let's call it a bipod is what it really is. But it utilizes your trekking poles for that. It's awesome on that. The only real con about the system is you have to have kind of a pattern of how you use it. If you're gonna pop the tensioner off the pick rail, you do have to move it over and pop it off. You've got to do the little adjustments. So that's kind of a con, but I think once you get a feel for it, no problem. Um, it's not really fair to knock on it too much on that front. What my recommendation on this system would be, if you're an ultralight backpack guy and that's the majority of your hunting that you're doing, you're gonna get value from just biting the bullet, paying for this system. You're gonna save a pound, pound and a half easy in this system uh, and you're gonna have a very comparable product. If you only backpack hunt, you know, five, 10% of your hunts, 
this might be pushing it, right? Because what you're gonna find is if you've already got a, a heavier duty tripod in your truck, you're gonna end up using it more than this system for two reasons. One, if it's a high quality system, it's gonna be slightly more stable than this system. Not by a lot, but a little bit, but the setup will probably drive you crazy. So I wouldn't, I don't think it's fair for people to say that this is gonna replace their old tripod system. This is really to augment, uh, augment the system and have a, a precise system for the use case of ultralight, low bulk uh, application. Ton of sheep hunters, goat hunters, high country mule deer hunters, backcountry elk hunters, all the backpack guys. You guys are gonna love this system for what it is, it's awesome. It, like I said, it took me a while to get, but I'm super happy with it now. I think the wiser guys have done an awesome job.